probably tell why. Against Colin Osborne, probably the luckiest man in the entire tournament. Shouldn't be here. Should not be here, but got a last-minute reprieve when Edward Santos from the Philippines pulled out. And Four, Osborne, as the highest-ranked player in the world rankings, not currently in the tournament, got the call. You're looking to make the most of that good fortune, John Monty. Well, yeah, he has nothing to lose at all, and uh, you know, he's relishing this opportunity. Of course, that wow. said, best of seven legs is pretty uh, nerve-wracking. We always talk about first round being difficult, but after playing in world championships in the past few years, Colin will be feeling a lot of pressure on the, just the format and how short it is. And, and I might add to that, especially 100. considering how well all of our uh, preliminary game contestants have played. Well, the, gap, the gap is closing, isn't it? Between uh, the far-flung outer reaches of the darting universe, th those players are getting better and they're getting closer to the guys that are regularly on the PDC Tour now. There is still a gap, though, isn't there? Osborne is clearly favourite. It's an experience gap. Uh, sometimes that works in the less experienced guy's favour because he, he doesn't know some what of the negative things you can think. It, it sounds odd, but um, it's true. Well, Link Sjold is from uh, a very small Danish what town called him. Gustenborg in southern Denmark and qualified by the Scandinavian playoffs. There are eight players in those playoffs and he did beat the uh, the likes of experienced pros uh, Magnus Karis of Sweden and Jani Harvisto. We've seen both of them here. Harvisto the Finn to, to qualify. 6 5 he beat Harvisto, so can't be much wrong with his bottle if he can uh, win a last leg shootout. 59. That is your requirement, 148. Well, he needs uh, a couple of trebles to get to double. There's one of them. He's going to go for treble 16 to try and leave tops. A very good turn. Right on 24. Colin Ringwire, 161. Yeah, I should Coco. He wants 161 here, Colin Osborne. That's not going to happen, so Linskjold will be back here for double 12. 65. Then it should require 20. Smart last dart to get to a two dart finish, but Dennis has three darts for this. Double six now. Two darts left. A double three. Always awkward and nervy. 21. Colin the Well, the dart at double six wasn't far away, but the bottom line is none of the three went in, so Osborne needs to find a big trouble with one of his first two. Fifty-six. So one double that one on your first uh, World Championship appearance ain't that easy, John? No, it's a, a very difficult way to start things off. But should he hit it, it will settle him down, as we say. That's a good one to get underneath. One score. Calling you required folks. I guess I lied a little bit there. He's caught the top edge of that other one. It's double top now for Colin, who hasn't really looked too comfortable. Well, this is the 20th dart Osborne has thrown in this leg. It's a bit of a, a groping aspect 20. to his throw right now. He's not really trusting them. That is your required two. Yeah. And that's come, his confidence has taken an absolute shellacking over the last few years. Game Double one, the first leg. Leg. So he takes that the first leg, goal. they both have their chances. Second leg, Colin, the front Yeah, first. Osborne has been sliding down the rankings, and, and to use your word, John, I think it's a good word too, groping for form over the last three or four years, hasn't he? But yeah, and it's, it's tough, it's tough to turn up, but he sees this as an opportunity. Six. But you look at the first leg of a match, and... Uh, you say, okay, I'll break the guy. That's the best one to break. And the, your opponent gets the double one, and you still haven't had a chance to break him, really, or, or done 45. it. Adrian Lewis watching the darts on Sky Sports tonight. Two-time former world champion. Hello, Adrian. I hope you're enjoying it. You obviously are. We will see Jackpot in action later on. He's got a little bit of a wait until 90. Wednesday night against Dennis Smith, jackpot. A lot of people fancy him to go well this year. Well, he'll have a bit of a wait while he's playing Dennis Smith, too. <laughs> 100. 
Dennis certainly takes his time when he plays. Not not this Dennis on stage now, but Dennis Smith, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking Dennis the Beast doesn't quite have the same ring as Dennis the Menace. But nothing to say he can't start a career here. Well, Osborne is probably thinking he's menacing enough at the moment. It's a leg up. Remember, just first to four legs here in this preliminary round game to face uh, Brendan Dolan. Osborne, only remember if you go back into the, the darting history books, 2009, UK Open runner up to Phil Taylor. He beat the power at Championship League darts. That following 16. autumn, he was world ranked number 11 then. Now he's slipped down to number 35 and hasn't reached a ranking quarter final since that UK Open final. It's been a long time between drinks for Colin. Well, this is just the sort of opportunity to help start, start him going uh, in the right direction, a positive direction, winning. But all the all the facial expressions, he doesn't look like a man who's enjoying playing no. the game. No, he doesn't. Now everything is a, a struggle, isn't it? 84. Off repeatedly, he was a former yo-yo champion, but there's been a lot more downs and ups for Osborne over the last four years or so. Well, he can still get out here with the treble 20. And this might spark him. Ball. Game well, the first half was loose, but boy, didn't dig himself out of trouble. Oh, yeah, it's a fun one to get when you hit that treble four first. Time. You think, oh, this would be cheeky, and, and, and when you get it, it just it's a good feeling. So that's a positive for him there. He inverted uh, that well. Yeah, he must have thought until uh, last week that he wouldn't be here at all. As, as bad luck returns, picks up the pieces though. Last year he lost it. Simon Whitlock, 4 0 in the second round, having beaten uh, Lawrence Lagan of the Philippines in the first round. One hundred. Until he hit that one, two, two, he was wondering if he had turned up at all himself. Now he knows he's in a match. Eighty-nine. It's looking fairly staccato, final on the ball's throw. But as his results have tapered off, I think he's looked for reasons in the throw. He's looked for 53. mechanical problems, which may be out there. I remember asking him when he reached that UK Open final how much of darts he's played in the head, and he said. Oh, 80 to 90 percent, and then and that really is probably where the problem is. Because if you keep getting beat, John, then it just eats away at your mind, doesn't it? And your confidence. 125. Well, you do have to be pretty thick-skinned at times to stay in. But um, I think the rewards are there, and that's reason enough to to be thick-skinned. You just have to say every time I get on stage, it's an opportunity to win a match, and that will take me somewhere else. To another opportunity, so you have to think more short ter short term at, at moments like this. One hundred and thirty-four. Good darts. Yeah, you're always looking for some kind of positive instead of thinking, oh, "Don't lose, don't lose." Should be going up and just thinking, "Just win, baby." Well, he's got a nice chance for a break opportunity here. Seventy-three. Wants to take the lead. Big 14, always that familiar twizzle in the throw from Osborne. Okay, Very good. Very good. Last Colin two uh, legs. Full play. Uh, Colin has Sarah looks on. Last Came two legs. On. Neat finishing. He has a twizzle, does he? A twirl, if you will, John. Ah, so he's stirred, not shaken. Well, I think he was shaken after that first leg. And then he's stirred and taken the next two. It's funny, you know, as, as professional sportsmen, anything 
anything could spark it, couldn't he? He's lucky to be here. He could win this game, he could beat Brendan Dolan, suddenly who knows what might happen from there. Strange things happen in sport, don't they? 17. Yes, and I think, uh, you know, on the other side here, Lince Gold is starting to really feel the pressure of the big time. Suffers the break where he really wasn't in the leg at all on his own throw and uh, you know, starts with a 16. 17. Yeah, attacking wow. and more aggressive on those three darts. Looked like a proper throw. He's starting to get some nice placement on that first dart to the right side of the treble, and he moves to the left. Yeah, he really wanted to get that third dart in that left corner. He had it all visualized very well, so he's doing some things correctly for sure. It's a fairly fearsome sight, isn't he, Dennis Link skills? Stomping about the stage. <laughs> Well, yeah, you almost want to be careful how much celebrating you do if you're calling Osborne if you're winning. Well, Osborne's doing okay, fighting. playing him against uh, in a game of darts. I'm not sure how he'd get on in an arm wrestling contest with this man. Sixty. Holiday requires okay. sixty-five. Sometimes goes treble eleven here, but most pros would go out of ball. Well, the 11's a good shot because if you miss anywhere there, you're still a single away 25. from a real double. Whereas if you go for the 25, you can hit one through four and then have to end up going for bull again. So it's actually a smarter shot to go for the 33. But not many people opt that way because they like the 25 as an easy target. 37. Okay. Well, you require 20. As Lynch Gold stomps back to the back of the hockey, two tens for Osborne. Yes, 3-1 then. The That'll make him feel good. That's what Colin was born. Well, Russ good Bray has inadvertently the given the leg to George, Colin Lloyd. My goodness. Well, Osborne can see the funny side. We really are going to need a bigger boat. Well, 59. Well, Colin Lloyd plays Bo Anderson, doesn't he? Maybe Colin Osborne will win a leg or two in that one. It's just broken the tension a bit for Colin Osborne, and that can help. 100. Still laughing about it. Well, his, his play is he's placing a scoring good, his doubles are good now. It was a very rough first couple of legs for him, but uh, he's been allowed to settle in. I mean, Dennis scored really not putting up any kind of a fight to this point. It's not easy. I'm not saying it wasn't being derogatory by any means, but uh, just not going his way at all. Well, it could be a good game this for Colin Osborne. Just uh, get him a bit of confidence. He's hit a couple of nice finishes, almost like a cricketing net session to get the feel of the ball on the back, get the feel of the dart in his hand. and. Phil Taylor made mention, John, didn't he, that playing a guy who's won the preliminary game is tough because they come back having had the uh, experience on the hockey earlier tonight. Well, they're loose. They're, they've got the feel of the place, and um, it's a big advantage. One hundred. Calling to require one hundred and forty-three. Does it? Need to take it necessarily, but he will try. Treble 20. Yes, treble 17. Yes, double 16. 111. A fair dart, I'd say. A nice attempt at that 143. Wouldn't say he's overly upset he missed it, but I think he wanted it. Just to sort of cap off a solid performance 16. now. How do you require 32? So to make it through. 
Game show. So the Dodging Ray Souls have coming on board. Starts here. 